why in the world am I tracking movies, films and series that I'm watching? One, because it's another medium where ideas are shared and thinking is expressed in different ways. And two, which is more applicable to me, it's how they're creating character arcs and telling stories through different narratives and perspectives, often challenging very difficult and critical ideas in the way that society as a whole works. This setup for my movies is very similar to the setup for my books. And by moving cards around inside of this canvas, it changes the information so you can see it's going to change in the query results as to where it goes. So moving it back to where it was, you can see it's just moved inside of the query and that's how I manage the movies and series and stuff that I'm watching, queued, waiting, high, medium, priority, low. So this is how I do it. As much of this setup is similar to the book library, I'm going to leave a link in the top right. I don't want to repeat myself, so I'm going to show you the differences and an overview as to how this works. Inside of the settings and looking at the community plugins, I have data view, metadata menu and templater, exactly the same as the last one. But instead of book search to bring information in, I'm using media DB plugin. Inside of the settings, I have an API key, which is how I can bring all of the information in. And you'll notice I can bring in more than just movies. This currently is set up for just movies. So I have a movies folder, but you can have a series folder. And these are the defaults, which applies to series, games, wiki articles, music, board games. There's loads of different types types of media you can bring in and use different templates for the different types of media you bring in. I personally just use movies and series at the moment. The file name settings I keep are the same. It adds the title and then the year. So if it's a series, it goes from the first year to the last year. Maybe that's the current year or the year it was actually released. So I know which film is which if they've got similar names and the same principle with the rest of the files. Scrolling down to the property mapping, you get a property map for each type. So this is the movie type. This is the series type, etc. And you can change all of the different properties that come in and you'll notice I've removed some so subtype title English title and tags have all been removed because I don't want to see any of those inside of the metadata of the file that I bring in the rest of it I do so taking a look at a movie that I brought in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone Philosopher's Stone whichever you want to call it I've added a class I've added recommendation status priority, but type and all of this other metadata has been brought in by the plugin. The movie template has all the information that I want to bring in. So that's the class movie recommendation status and priority. What is this class about? I've done a video about metadata menu, which I'll link in the top right, but you can see inside of the folders, I have a class folder and a movie class type. If I click on the icon then go to file class settings, it automatically looks for personal rating. And then these are the four that I added. The personal rating is default. So going into the media DB plugin and scrolling all the way down, you can see down the bottom, it's got personal rating. That's a default setting that brings in. You can remap it if you want to say rating. I don't bother because it doesn't affect me, which then gives me a drop down option and I use stars. So five, four, three, two, one recommendation is spy glasses or looking glass, whatever you want to call it, uh, five, four, three, two, one. And then we've got priority status and watched. In addition to the field information or metadata information inside of the file, if I go down one, you can see I have a data view query with a template script in it, just like I do with the book search. This time, the template is inside of my Obsidian rather than inside of the plugin settings. And this will show the table, remove the table ID, show the image, and then call it cover, call that column cover, then show me the personal rating and name the column rating. And when we take a look, this is what the query looks like. It's got the cover called cover. It's got rating at the moment. It's zero because I haven't added a rating yet. And if I go down, you can see the only thing that's changed in the query is that template script has been changed for the actual name of the file, which you can see right at the top of the file where the fields get clever is inside of this query. So I have purple as the color to all of these groups. If you right click, you can create a group inside of the canvas and you can see the status is watching and priority is high because it is watching and high. If I was to move the card down to the queued and medium section and drop it, this will now update to queued and medium. I can then use that information in any other data view creator workout where I want it to show. So on the left, I now have a to be watched file because I hadn't changed the name of it. And this is where I'm going to query all the things I want to watch. So if I go into the query, it looks very similar, but it says where I've not watched it and where there is no priority. So if there's no priority, which is added by these purple groups, if there's no priority, which at the moment this one has a priority, it will appear as long as it hasn't been watched and this watched is false. So if I remove this card from the canvas, you can see it's now appeared in my to be watched section because it hasn't been watched. That's false. 
and there is now no longer a status or a priority. So if I was to add it back in, let's say Harry Potter is there, now it's high watching, now it's high and watching, you can see it will disappear from that query because it's now got a priority on it. As I scroll over, I have priority movies. So this will show me all of the movies that are currently inside of this grid. And the reason I have that is because I can click on this little icon here, it's the movie icon or film icon, which is where I can say, yep, I've watched this, I'm going to tick this off. Now that I've watched this, it's going to disappear from Priority Movies because it doesn't need to be there, and it's in the complete section. It will still be in the grid, which I can click and delete, but it will still remain inside of the complete section. So I've watched that movie, and you can see down here, it's actually saying true. To add a movie or film, you can push Control P or go to the command palette that's in the ribbon, then type MediaDB plugin, and then you can insert any of these specific game, a wiki, a movie series, etc. Or you can use the actual button to add new media entry and then you can look specifically for the API keys. But in order to do that, you need to go to this website, OMDB API, and actually get your API keys. So I personally go for the free account, which is a thousand daily limit. I never <laughs> go beyond that limit. Uh, type in your email and it will give you an API key. So I'm gonna use this first API and let's just say Harry Potter because we want the rest of them. And now it's come up with all of the searches. I will say this search is quite particular about the spelling of the films and movies. So make sure you've got the spelling right. Now I want all of these coming in and let's say, okay. It will take a couple of seconds because obviously it's trying to import all of that information. It will give you a little bit of a preview of all the different files it's going to bring in. It doesn't show the data view query, which I'm not too fussed about because I know it works because obviously the template script hasn't been created yet because the file hasn't been created yet. So click OK. It's now thrown in all of those files and now we've got all the files in and you can see it's actually replaced the file that we already had over here in complete. So that's something to be aware of if you've brought the movie in again. Why you would do that, I'm not sure. This is just an example. And for those building this from scratch, inside of the templater plugin, you'll need to make sure the trigger templater on new file creation. Make sure this is ticked on. I think it's default when you first install the plugin. So when the file is created, the templater script actually brings in the right thing. So now we can see, okay, uh, let's say I've watched this one. Uh, this one has a recommendation of three. Half-Blood Prince is gonna be up there. Deathly Hallows Part 1 down there. And Prisoner of Azkaban over there. So now we've got three movies in priority, which are over here. We've got four inside of the to be watched and one has been watched. 